Hey guys, I wanted to share some tips with you about hosting your business launch party. Um, first of all, I um, want to share with you that I really don't like the name business launch party, so I don't want you to use that. I would like for you guys to come back with um, comments or feedback um, on something that you would like to call these parties. Um, some people already have them um, named as social, um, pink drink socials, but um, I really think it's important that we keep the curiosity of your guest. So let's talk a little bit about why you should have a launch party. First of all, something very exciting has happened in your life. And the easiest way to share this information is at one time with several people instead of trying to contact each person by phone or send them a text message or send them a message on Facebook. Something exciting is happening in your life and you want to share it with them. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, in the next couple of weeks, you're going to get with your sponsor or your upline. And if your upline or sponsor is not local, just get with them via phone. And um, we can do it via Skype or even just on a phone, on speaker, either way. So get with your sponsor, your upline, schedule the date in the next couple of weeks. Don't put this off. In the next couple of weeks. It's only going to be about an hour, hour and a half long. It won't take very long. You can do it on a weeknight real quick. Um, after work, you can do it um, on a week end Saturday afternoon or morning or whatever. Just whenever you want to do it. Just schedule it. Number two, make the list. Now, this is really important. You don't want to prejudge. You want to write down anybody and everybody that you have a personal relationship with. This can be friends. This is friends, family, co-workers, neighbors, anybody that you have a personal relationship with. Put them on the list. Number three, invite. This is where most people fail to have a successful event. They invite people by posting it on Facebook, social media, any type of social media, um, sending an event, sending a text message. Guys, we have to get back to personal relationships. I want you to pick up the phone and here's a suggestion of what you can say. Hey, Sally, listen, something really exciting is happening in my, my life right now, and I really want to share it with you. I don't have time to go over details. I'm in a hurry, but I'm having a little get together Tuesday night at my house at six o'clock, and I'd really like to have you and your husband come and hear what's happening in my life. Can I count on your support? Yes or no? They're going to answer you. Um, it's in a couple of weeks, so they know what they're doing next Tuesday, not a month from now. So real easy, real simple. I'm going to go over it again. Hey, Sally, something really exciting has happening is happening in my life or has happened to me. And I really would love to share it with all my friends and family. I'm having a get together Tuesday at six o'clock. I don't have time to go over the details with you right now, but I just want to know, can I count on your support? If they say yes, I'll be there. Say great. You're welcome to bring your spouse. You can bring a friend. Just I'm, I'm so excited that you're willing to, to support me. I can't wait to share all the details with you. I'll chat with you soon. I'll be calling to remind you. Click, you're done. Off the phone, literally takes two to three minutes. They need to hear the excitement in your voice. They need to really just hear it. They need to feel it. Don't give them details. Don't tell them anything. I know they're probably going to ask. Some of them are going to bug you to death. Don't tell them. Curiosity will get them to your home to find out what this exciting thing that's happened to you. So, the next thing you do, you remind them, this is so critical. People are so busy. They may be really excited and they really want to come see what's going on in your life, but the kids have games or they, you know, had to, you know, work late one night and they were stressed out, whatever. Call and remind them. If you can't get in touch with them, leave them a voicemail. Send them a text message. Say, hey, I just want to let you know I'm so excited about seeing you on Tuesday. Can't wait. Um, if you're serving refreshments, let them know. Skip dinner. I'll have bungees, whatever. Okay. Just send them that brief reminder and remind them again. So I would remind them at least twice, once with a text message and then maybe a phone call real quick and say, I'm so excited. Can't wait to see you. See you Tuesday night seven. Oh, by the way, who's coming with you? Is your husband coming? Is your mom coming? Who's coming with you? So you'll know how many guests to plan for. So that's it. Number one, get with your sponsor, your upline, schedule the date. Number two, make your guest list and make it big. Only about one third of the people that you invite are going to show up. So if you invite 30 people, great, you'll have 10 people there. Very exciting. Number three, invite. Personal invitation. Pick up the phone and call them. It won't take very long. Each call shouldn't take more than two or three minutes maximum. And then number four, remind them. 
I'm going to do a video on the actual launch party and the details of how that's going to work, but let's just get them scheduled. Let's get some fire going and change some lives and I'll be in touch soon.